deceptive advertising. Today, a King County judge ruled Value Village misled shoppers into believing their purchases directly benefited charities. And good evening, I'm Monique Minglavin. I'm Steve Rabel. Despite that ruling, the company is standing behind its marketing. Cameron 7 South Sound reporter Shelby Miller is live at Value Village's Lacey location. Shelby. And this ruling really targets Value Village's advertising. The attorney general says signs here at the store lead shoppers to believe that the money they spend inside goes to charity. Sorry. <laughs> Loading up carts with boxes of books, lamps, blankets, and more. Thank you. These are all items dropped off at Value Village's donation center. Some of them will end up on Value Village shelves. Definitely when I walk in there, it seems like a charity. Attorney General Bob Ferguson says a lot of people are under that impression. At one point, he was too. I always thought they're a nonprofit. I used to shop at Value Village. Now I don't. He says the company markets as if they're a nonprofit, using intercom messages and signs around the store to mislead customers. His office filed a lawsuit in 2017. Friday, a King County judge ruled Value Village violated the state's Consumer Protection Act. It's a victory for consumers because Value Village gives the impression that they're a nonprofit company. All their advertising goes that way. They bombard their customers. In fact, they're not. They're a billion dollar for profit company. Value Village General Counsel Rich Medway doesn't believe the company has done anything wrong. We stand behind our advertising and we're very proud of the model and the way that we've represented the model to the public. The company partners with charities, paying for items, which they then sell inside their stores. I think customers understand how our mo model works, that we buy goods from nonprofit charities, which the judge found we've always paid for, and they understand that that is where we obtain our supply from. I asked customers in Lacey what they thought. They're definitely false advertising and deceiving the public. I don't think it's misleading at all. You'll keep shopping here, it sounds like. Oh, yeah. They have great deals on movie clothes. <laughs> I asked if Value Village plans to change any of their signs or even appeal this ruling, but I am told that they're going to wait because they are expecting a written ruling to come next week. Reporting live in Lacey, Shelby Miller, Cairo 7 News.